Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, I just wanted to share with you something I found very useful to learn um, in doing some product animations. Um, needing to be able to develop a strap or a loop, or like a, maybe a belt loop. Um, something that's got the ability to move and, and you can control that motion really easily, but um, so we're not gonna use things that, uh, you know, like cloth or, or hair dynamics, but, but, but it's also, you know, stiff enough to be manipulated um, so that let's say we want to fit it through a belt loop or um, in the case of a strap we want to be able to fit it down through a through some kind of strap hold and, and make it look like it's it's animating in a way that's um, that's believable so um, to kind of show you what I'm talking about here we're just going to um, I'm just gonna first just I guess grab like a plane and we'll put it on the Z here and I'm just gonna kind of narrow this down just a little bit something like that and we'll make it editable and so um, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of polygons there I just left it as default and I left it as is that way um, there is a middle line here that divides the 10 polygons on one side the 10 polygons on the other so I've got kind of this like middle seam and we got plenty of polygons to do um, any kind of bending or contortion that we want to do okay so I've jumped into the uh, front view here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to character and I'm gonna grab the joint tool and I've adjusted it um, a little bit here first thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna I'm, I don't need a root null when I start drawing joints You'll see why when we, when we move on. Um, by default, I'm just going to draw. Um, my uh, control is just going to be drawing it aligned. And if I hold shift, sorry, if I hold shift, I want it to draw aligned. If I hold control, um, I'm going to have it move. So now all I have to do is just come through here and start drawing from the top of my object to the bottom and you'll see why I picked the top later as well. We're gonna just kinda go through and you'll see all these joints creating up in the uh, the layout view there up in the upper right and I get all the way to the finish and there we go. I've got all these joints going right down the seam of my plane. Now, uh, next thing we're going to do is um, we are just going to come in here and let's just see which joint is which just to double check so that top joint we're gonna go in here and we're gonna add a IK spline okay and you'll see why we would need that in a minute but the next thing we're gonna do is now we are going to take our pen tool and we're gonna actually create a spline that goes right up the middle um, but we're going to use fewer segments. We're not going to do this every segment because we don't want to have that much control. It'll actually give you more control later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably do like three of these controls. Boom, something like that. Okay. And um, you might have to just double check where that spline got drawn. Luckily, it's right there but if for some reason your spline was drawn over here, you're just gonna wanna make sure you snap that to the, um, to the plane that you're working on. All right, so now we can go back into that tag that I just created on my joint. And basically, you'll see, um, we'll line it to Y. And then what we see, we've got this uh, spline uh, area. We'll just take the spline we created and drop that in. And then for end, we're gonna drag in the uh, joint 20 there. And for twist, we'll just put it to object. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do in here is going into handles. So basically what's happening as we're creating these handles is it's going from our first uh, point in the spline all the way to the last. So just kind of reiterating that. So as I hit add, and then create, you'll see that these are moving down the spline. 
And this is going to be very helpful when we start moving uh, this object around. So I only did I had four total. So just make sure you know that number there. All right. And so already we can grab one of these and you can see that, yeah, the spline is it's moving around a little bit and we'll pull it in the middle. Um, and the other thing we want to do is change this to uh, B spline, your spline. I know I had originally set it to linear, but um, now you'll notice when you start pulling on it, you start getting a much more realistic curvature. And the other thing to keep in mind is, the reason why we start from the top is we're going to use that top object of like where the strap starts. So you'll notice now um, that point is the only point in this IK chain that isn't going to move. Okay. So let's come back into our perspective view here. And the only thing left to do is we gotta do a little binding. So we're gonna grab this entire spine, spine I should say, and the plane. We're gonna go up here to bind. And just like that, we should now be able to make this thing dance and move, All right? And if you want to make it even smoother, we could always, uh, you know, subdivide as well, um, and put our plane inside that so that the moves are, whoops, even smoother. But so that's that's pretty good. And I mean, we can adjust. Uh, I don't know if we can still adjust the size. Yeah, we can still adjust the size down, and uh, you know, make our little lace there. But this is just kind of part of the object. So now imagine. You know, if we had like, let's say, let's say this box is a, uh, you know, a shoe or something. And uh, we wanted to take our plane and, oops, we gotta grab this whole sucker. say it was just kind of mounted on the top there you know maybe whether it's a rope you know um, I mean think of this as like you know a medical device shoelaces stuff like that you know now we can grab this and contort it in all sorts of different directions and we can even grab multiples of them and oops the only one we don't want to move is zero um, move a bunch of these and make them Move all over the place and it's really easy to animate. Go back to the original position. Start that. Grab them all. Move them around. You can almost get like kind of like a roll effect going. Ooh. Whoopsie Daisy didn't do any <laughs> didn't do anything with that. Let's go there. Key it. Here we're gonna pop this out even further. I don't know how useful it is showing you that, but anyway, that is basically the way you can create a strap. Um, and I'm actually working on using this right now on this medical device. Um, this is called the suction shield. And basically I needed to have a strap that's gonna come, that will go over a bar and tighten this device to the edge of like a hospital bed or something like that. So um, this is what the device looks like. It has this strap and it kind of just has little teeth that click through there. but. I was searching and searching for a tutorial and um, or some kind of assistance and I, I stumbled upon um, upon using this and I'm like, wow, that's gonna make a lot of animating super easy just knowing some of these tricks. And I know how to rig and stuff like that. And I was playing around with IK chain. Um, I was playing around with like hair and cloth nothing worked. So anyway, I hopefully this helps you out and hopefully this was something that you're going to use in your upcoming projects. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.